Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We got U.S. equity futures trading to the upside. S&P's up 24, NASDAQ 100, 100, 165 for the Dow, and the Russell's up 13 points. Now, uh, we did do the uh, we recorded the Trader's Edge show between 8 and 9, and the only topping pattern that we saw was the 10 and 15 minute uh, sell the D point pattern. Those have been negated now. Closes above 52.88.75 as that 9 a.m. bell rang, negated those signals. That tells us to expect and anticipate a move up to the 53.04 level for the ES mini. If we take a look at what happened in uh, Asia last night, a mixed bag out there. You did have the Nikkei close up 364.70. That suggested it wants to get back to its highs from a few days ago. The Shanghai and the Hang Seng trading lower. In Germany right now, you got the DAX trading up 120. The DAX and the NASDAQ are directionally correlated. This suggests that the NASDAQ may, in fact, hold its gains. Of course, we'll know. We take a look at how the DAX is trading at its close today. Gold's up six bucks. Silver's back five cents right now. Got the U.S. dollar index up 11 pennies. Trade out at 104.10. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. Here you've got the ES Mini left hand side. Price trading above. It's got a rose momentum indicator top, but price has held the top of that profile. It still remains bullish to neutral out there. If we take a look at the spot volatility, trading below its 50-day exponential moving average. That's at 1380. That puts the wins at the sales for the S&P 500. However, we do see a slightly rising bottoms pattern inside the spot volatility. So that just says, be careful. May not be today that's a problem, but it could be in the next couple. If you take a look at the NQ, it's trading into its rose momentum indicator top as well. The NQ, let me see if I can give you a, a likely price target for it. Um... The NQ uh, is really not much higher than where we're at right now. So its key level of resistance is going to be at the 18,579 level. If price close above that, it wants to go retarget its highs. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's trading with inside a, it's got a TD9 count top, trading inside a bear structured profile. So resistance up at the 10420 level. Gold uh, trading a bit higher, but just consolidating with inside its daily profile after forming a TD9 count top back on the trading session of March the 21st. Consolidation for silver as well. Same thing for light, sweet, crude, and natural gas looks like a real bummer out there. Right now, it's negating. It's by the D-point pattern. A close below 1.75 is going to spell curtains for natural gas. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock sharp. Take care and be safe out there.